President Obama used Memorial Day to announce a new lineup of his top military brass. The question now is, do the changes shift a si or signal rather a shift in policy? CBS News Chief White House Correspondent Chip Reed has the very latest for us this morning. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning, Chris. This is all part of a familiar pattern from President Obama, promoting from within and rewarding competence and loyalty. With nearly 150,000 U.S. troops fighting in Afghanistan and Iraq, and U.S. support of the NATO-led mission in Libya, President Obama moved to put the finishing touches on the overhaul to his national security team, announcing his pick for the new Joint Chiefs of Staff, a 40-year Army veteran. Martin Dempsey is one of our nation's most respected and combat-tested generals. Army General Martin Dempsey, who had only served one month as Army Chief of Staff, will replace Admiral Mike Mullen, who retires this fall. The announcement completes the president's new picks of top military advisors, which resembles a game of musical chairs within his administration. CIA Director Leon Panetta replaces Robert Gates as Secretary of Defense, and the current commander of the Afghanistan war effort, General David Petraeus, will take over Panetta's post at the CIA. We've got to have that vision for transition in 2014 and then if confirmed by the Senate General Dempsey will take over as Joint Chiefs chair in the early stages of the troop withdrawal from Afghanistan slated to begin in July and be completed by 2014 and the final phases of the Iraq war with the killing of Osama bin Laden last month and the drawdown in troops on the battlefield General Dempsey will face different kinds of challenges than Mullen Earlier this month, he testified about the role of the Army moving forward. We recognize our responsibility to prevail in the wars that we're fighting, prepare for the challenges of an uncertain future, prevent and deter threats against the United States, its interests, our allies and partners. So with so many of these promotions coming from within, it does not appear to signal any major change in policy. Rather, these are people the president trusts to implement his policies. Chris? Chip, read at the White House for us this morning. Chip, thank you.